is Real Love My Space. Today, we're in County Clare to meet Joe Meskell. Joe works from home full time and wants to transform his 90 sitting room into a dream office. Luckily, no challenge is too big for our design maestro, Paul Kinsella. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, how are you? Welcome to Clare, come on in. Thank you. Now. So Joe, Paul is our designer extraordinaire. Here I am. He is going to be designing your new room. Why isn't the room working for you right now? Well, I bought the house off my parents not so long ago, and that room was the good sitting room. Um, I came back and I put my desk into the middle of the good sitting room, and nothing uh, gelled well anymore together. So uh, there is like lots of different types of furniture. Um, it doesn't work. It's not ideal, I think, for a home office where I spend most of the hours of my life now. So um, it would be nice if it gels well together and it doesn't have that uh, good 90s sitting room look anymore. So what colours do you actually like? I really like uh, blues, greys, whites. So that's my style, really. So you won't actually be seeing the room until it's finished, but you are expected to help out in terms of the jobs. So how are you feeling about that? Well, I have tried a little bit recently, but I won't be giving up my day job just yet, let's say. So you did absolutely love this room at one point when it served that purpose but now it's time to fall back in love with the space with a new twist on it. Yeah, that's correct. I just want to fall back in love with it, uh, be happy at work, hopefully let me be more productive at work um, without worrying about all these different colours and patterns. So it would be nice to have a suitable work environment to make uh, my day easier. Now that Paul understands what Joe is after, it's time to get started on the redesign. So what is your plan for Joe's room? Well, Joe's pink paradise is going to be neutralised down. I'm going to give him that pop of blue he's looking for. He loves his desk, but I'm going to give it a little bit of an upcycle and also keep it in the same position because one of his things is he loves to look out that window. And I found a beautiful table that he's not using in his house. So I'm going to gold leaf that and then put a bit of gold leaf feigning on top of it as well. I'm going to change those walls from pink to blue. I'm going to take up that carpet. I'm going to cover the couch and then I'm going to change out the curtains. I want to give Joe his dream office space. I cannot wait to see this come to life. With everyone but Joe briefed on the design, the makeover can begin. And Paul and the team arrive to get started. First up, we freshen up those walls while Joe gets stuck into some DIY. Paul, you've got a job for Joe. What is he going to be doing to this vase? So Joe, you are going to be upcycling this vase and I'm going to introduce you to one of your paint colours. Oh, wow. Oh, Paul, yeah, that's um, what I was thinking of. So this is a really nice hack. Probably loads of people have tester pots around and we're going to use baking powder. You're going to put one to two teaspoons of baking powder in. Remember, less is more. We can't take out after we've put in. Give it a mix. And then after a light sand and a clean down with a cloth, you just dab it on, swipe it on. You actually cannot go wrong with this. It's so simple. And on that note, it's all okay. yours. Well, give it a go, so Paul. Give it a go. OK. Joe has inherited some beautiful furniture pieces. And I'm just going to give them a bit more life with a bit of colour. I start off by cleaning down the unit, then a light sand. I've taped off the hardware, I've primed it, and now a satin wood paint goes on. I've done an additional two coats for durability. Looking good. But can the same be said for our vase? Do a little bit of our sanding. The leg. Look at this vase. Do you want to do a bit of the top there as well? Yeah. Just I'm an awful taskmaster, aren't I? Do the top, do the neck. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, time to paint. Okay. Then two. And then we're just gonna dab that then together with the brush. Yeah, okay, mixy so, mix. Okay, so not too much. How's that looking now, do you think? Um, still looks like paint, so that's good. Okay.
Look, as much as I'd love to wrap this for my gaff, I won't. I'll leave it to you. Uh, but now that you have seen it, and I suppose the colour, do you have any more hints as to where you think Paul might be going for your new home office? Well, I'm very happy with this blue. It's a good sign. This is something I would have had in my own mind to do for the room. I think now I trust Paul more now than I would have. Um, uh, there's a good sign with this colour, and um, I'll sleep tonight anyway, Fanula. You trust him now that you've seen the paint? You didn't trust him before? I trusted him a bit, but now I, I trust him more. Still not fully, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, this looks fab. Yeah, so it's coming along nicely now. Yeah. Easy? Um, not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it shows you, like, the texture that the baking powder gives to it, doesn't it? Good, like, you'd never think of it, like, having that in the press and just throwing a few teaspoons in give you that, like, yeah. texture. Yeah, you learn something new every day. With the carpet taken up, it's finally time to get the new colour on the wall. After a few coats, the guys can start to lay the floor, which we found online secondhand. Down goes the underlay and our carpenter starts with the trickiest side, cutting. Then it's time to lay the floor. This is Joe's current desk. It's actually a little bit too small for him, so I've got some extendable legs to raise it and some contact paper to tie it into the room. And on goes the legs. Contact paper is super affordable and it's a great hack to upcycle furniture and it comes in loads of different varieties of finishes. Paul, we've got this lovely table here. You'd often see pieces like this in people's houses. What's your plan for it? So I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go leaf the legs of it, and then we're going to navy out to match it into the room. And then I'm going to try do some veining onto it later on. Love it. We're going to start with just a light sand so that uh, the adhesive grips to it. With a little bit of sandpaper just to give it some gripping. And it's good just to give it a wipe so you get any of the dust off it. Now we're going to use some of the gilding adhesive and it's just good to throw in a tiny bit of water so it just becomes a bit more easy to apply. And we just start applying all over. And now we're going to prime the top and leave it to dry. So now it's kind of tack dry. This is the fun part. This is when we get to apply the gold leaf and it's not precious. You can put it on and away you go. Love it. Throw on the gloves because it can be very um, sticky, as in like it just sticks to everything. So the leaf is very delicate and it kind of, the minute it goes near the wood, it'll adhese itself. And you're just kind of brushing it very gently onto it, all around it, and then we'll buff it off. And it doesn't matter if it overlaps, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I know you're saying we don't have to be perfect, but like, can we look at Paul's <laughs> and then look at mine? You're getting really stuck in. What do you mean? There's just a bit of gold there. Oh. <laughs> it's just my natural aura. And now the leaf is dried, we can brush it off and you can be a bit aggressive with this. <laughs> my arm is so tired. Pity about you. And now we're going to go in with our final blue. And now I'm just lightly putting on some lines to create some kind of veins into it with some of the adhesive, but like I'm not loading up the brush that much. Now for the moment of truth. <sighs> and just like that, it's done. Look at that. So good. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
Now, all that's left to do is add the finishing touches to the room. Paul, how did you transform this room? So it was the good sitting room and I just really wanted to give him a nice workspace. Joe had these gorgeous pieces of furniture that he inherited with the house and I just wanted to tie them into the room a little bit more. Great quality, pop a colour onto them, brought out actually the gold detailing that was already there. And that vase that you and Joe did, we found that in a local charity shop for a few euro. Then with the desk, I got some extendable legs that he can either raise it or keep it low. And then that very busy carpet, we whipped that up and we got a lovely floor down instead. We pulled that entire room together from charity shops and secondhand finds online. I hope it's gonna live up to his expectations, but I think it will. How are you feeling, Joe? Are you excited? Very excited, a little bit nervous. Not sure what he did, but it's been a long time coming for this room to be what I want it to be. So let's see what Paul has done. Right, it's officially the end of the good sitting room. Let's go take a look. Oh my God, that's so different. It's so, oh my God, look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. There's like no clutter. <laughs> like, <laughs> and look at the color, it's like just, Oh my God, I love it. Is that my old uh, end table? Sure is. Oh my God. Oh, and look at what we made. Our handiwork. Are we still friends? Hello. <laughs> uh, thanks. Oh my God. It's, um... Oh no, you, you listened to me. Okay, and um, thank you very much. Good. Yeah, and there's so much space now, no clutter. Yeah. Oh my God, the floor. <laughs> I noticed the floor. I, know, I, know, I, I noticed the floor. Oh my God, the carpet's gone. No more carpet. I can't believe this was the old uh, cabinet. Um, <laughs> it, it looks brand new, but I, I know the shape of it. I know it isn't yeah. brand new, but I'm just so shocked with what a bit of paint can do. I'd be afraid to do that yeah. the whole time. I like the desk because it was yeah. so low for me as well. Yeah, so it's completely extendable, so you can find the perfect height for you. So oh, I've just set okay. it at a height, but you can really? change it. Yeah, okay. 100%, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And like, uh, even the light in the room. Yeah. And um, I'm not falling over everything, <laughs> rushing back to answer a call when I hear it ringing now. <laughs> when you're out uh, Dawson. <laughs> no, no, we won't Dawson, we over the moon. It's so different. It's uh, something I had in mind, but a thousand times better. I just can't believe there's so much of the same room as actually here with a different look. Like it's um, either being upcycled or um, painted. This is my dream home office. It's so nice. And uh, I never thought I'd be so excited to work, but now I am.